This is big, huh? A very big moment. Here goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. soon. Wow, Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his databanks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Wait, so that's what the platinum chip does. Interesting. Mr. House had a whole demonstration planned for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. Step closer to the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> Our titanium alloy housing does a good job of protecting our delicate electronic insides from small arms fire and shrapnel. Our left arm contains an X-25 Gatling laser, quite deadly against soft targets at medium range. That <laughs> looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. All of this is old hat, right? Here is where it gets interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. It makes quite a difference. With the M235 missile launcher, we can engage ground and air targets at long range. And a rapid fire G28 space launcher system makes those deadly in close range engagements. Woo! Look at that! The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now! All together, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness. Per unit. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. An entire army of upgraded Securitrons just standing by over at the fort. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs>